Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jeremy Stone, the director of marketing for Volkey Wedges at Titleist. We are outside at the PGA Demo Day here in Orlando, Florida. We've got the SM8 wedges, brand new from Titleist and Bob Volkey himself. Now, uh, we talk all the time about you know all the innovations, the tech, everything, but uh, a lot of picking out wedges is about you know what works for you and your swing and also what works for the gapping. So selecting wedges is a lot more than just looking at the loft, looking at you know what might fit uh, yardage-wise in your bag, right? Uh, absolutely, and I think there's a lot we can learn from tour players when mm -hmm. it comes to wedge selection. I know we don't all have the swing speed of a tour player, we don't all have the touch or practice as much as a tour player, but that's okay because what we can learn is how they go about choosing their equipment. And I think there's some things to learn there. Let's take Justin Thomas, for example. Justin plays four wedges, and he really focuses first on gap fitting, and then he focuses on putting different grinds in his bag so that he's prepared for every shot type. So Justin chooses to play a Vokey Design pitching wedge in place of his set pitching wedge. So he plays a 4610 F grind in the Vokey lineup, and that provides him the more consistent shot making, whether he's in the first cut or in the rough, no flyers with the more aggressive Vokey groove. It has the F grind, so if he wants to use a green side, he can. His 52 degree wedge is also that F grind. When you get into the 56 and 60, that's when you start looking at some different options for green side. Now Justin's interesting because his 56 degree, he's got so much speed and he's so aggressive through the golf ball, he wants our highest bounce sand wedge, which is the 56 F grind. So he plays a very high bounce sand wedge. He then chooses to complement that with more of a mid to low bounce lob wedge. It's a mid bounce K grind. And so the way he likes to play his different shots is really using the trailing edge, which is where that K grind really shines. And I think what we can learn from Justin is one, focus on gapping. He's got between four and six degrees between every wedge, but he also looks at the sand wedge and lob wedge as two different clubs that have to have two different roles within his bag. So now he's prepared for all the different shots he might encounter on the golf course. Yeah, I mean, it's not just about um, how you swing, but it's also about the different shots you might be playing with that club. And clearly Justin's taking advantage of that with, again, all of the different grind options that yeah. Titleist offers. Absolutely. Now, I think another example would be Jordan Spieth, right? So he's playing completely different grind options that Justin Thomas does not have in his bag, right? Yeah, so again, you're talking about two world-class wedge players. Jordan has a very different setup. Now, where their wedge setups are the same are actually in the low lofts. Jordan also plays a Vokey pitching wedge at 46 degrees. Okay. He also plays the 52 degree Vokey. Where he differs from Justin's setup is he plays lower bounce in his sand and lob wedge. But, just like Justin, he plays a more high bounce sand wedge. He plays our 5610 S grind. And so that's more of a mid bounce sand wedge and he chooses to play the 6004 L grind in his lob wedge. It's our lowest bounce offering. Again, just like Justin, what that does is it gives him two different grinds, which prepares him. So if he walks into a situation where he's got a really tight lie, he's got a low bounce wedge that it can help him hit that shot. If he goes into some really fluffy sand or some really fluffy rough, he's got more of that mid to high bounce sand wedge. Again, he's preparing himself for every lie he may encounter before he even sets foot on the golf course. And then he's done work with our tour rep, Aaron Dill, who fit him for those wedges to then complement his swing, just like Justin Thomas. And I think the takeaway from everyone is, think about how you use your wedges and make sure you find a fitter who can help you find a grind to complement your swing. Right, because the unique thing about wedges is that, you know, like these, this exact model can be played by a 20 handicap or it can be played by the best in the world. Whereas there are driver models or iron models that might not be the case necessarily. So uh, you might find yourself getting fit for the exact same type of wedge that Justin Thomas or George Spieth is. It just depends on your game, your swing, and the way you want to play your shots around the green. Exactly right. So Jeremy, thank you for joining us. This is great information, some advice for golfers out there who uh, may be struggling around the greens. Uh, get some brand new SM8 wedges and make sure to get fit for the wedge grinds that fit your game.